we'll guide you through how to sign into the PlayStation Network on an existing account on your PS5, and I'll show you how you can go and add another completely different PlayStation Network account as well. So firstly, just go and sign into this user here. So firstly, sign into a user, and then if I go up over to media, for example, it then says you're not signed in, connect to the PlayStation Network to use this feature. And then from games, if I go into the PlayStation Store, it also says you're not signed in. So let me go and click on sign in like this, and you should do the same. And then what you can do is sign in with the QR code if you'd like. Personally, I'm going to go and sign in manually. So if you're using your phone, you can use the QR code. It is easier. I just like to do it manually. And then make sure your email is typed in there. To go and type it in, you just go and press on X. And then you can go and type it in. That's already mine is correct though. And then I'll go down to password. I'll go and press on X. And I'll then type in my password. After you've entered your password, you can then just go and tap on sign in like this. And you'll then be signed back into your account. You can go and secure your account. And if you've got anything like two-step verification, you'll need to go and do that. So you may go, go and get sent a text, for example, or maybe you'll go and have to open up an Authenticator app. So that's how you can sign back into a PlayStation Network account. If you want to go and add another though, come onto your remote and tap on the PlayStation button like this, and then scroll down just once and then go all the way along here until you go and get to the profile. So mine's called Rob Tucker, so I'll click there. And then you can go and click on switch user or log out. I'll click on switch user and then go and tap on add user. And you can then go and tap on X on your remote like this. And you can then go and click on add a user to this PS5. Click there. And you'll need to go and agree to the license agreement. I've already read that. And then what you can do is go and sign into the account. Once again, you can go and scan the QR code or you can go and sign in manually or go and create an account or skip and play offline. But I imagine you want to go and sign in with a PlayStation Network account, which is why you're watching this video. So then we'll go and click on sign in manually and you could then go and enter in your information here. And that's it. You can then go and add that account to your PS5. And to switch between the accounts, you just tap on the PlayStation button on your remote and then scroll down and go along to your user profile here all the way here, click there, and then you can go and tap on switch user and you can then go and switch between them. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.